people from the constellation Lyra. In, con in the constellation Lyra, they say, is the oldest known form or civilization of the human form that we are. They don't know how old it goes back. Their records only go 22 million years, passed down from society to society. In our Milky Way galaxy, the originally it is believed that there were 44 million planets similar to Earth, where the human form naturally evolved there on its own. That number has greatly expanded over the past few million years uh, because of the length amount of time. There's been plenty of time for races to develop, develop space travel, move out, and populate other worlds. The ancient Lyrians from the constellation Lyra apparently did this a lot, populated thousands of different worlds, and uh, because of their seeds, we have a large human population, they say, in our galaxy. The history of Earth goes something like this. The ancient Lyrians came here the first time back about 22 million years ago. None of them stayed here. There was human life developing here naturally at the time. They didn't re return again for a long period of time. History really picks up about 386,000 years back. At that point when they returned, uh, 144,207 Lyrians came here to hide out from wars that were going on in the constellation Lyra where they live. You may have heard that number before. It is presumed to be the number of light workers which will restore the earth back to a spiritual path. Well, it apparently refers to these ancient Lyrians who came here to hide out. When they came here, after they'd been here for a short period of time, it was discovered that they were here. They came from the home planets, found them here, took their ships and their technology and stranded them on Earth, leaving them here so they couldn't return back to Lyra. In doing so, all of them lived their lifetimes out, passed over, and their spirits passed into the other side around Earth. They were stuck here. They say historically that's how the white genetic got to Earth. The original Earth humans were the brown skin race. The Lyrians brought the white skin race here. Two thirds of the white people on planet Earth are of Lyrian or Vagan descent. The other third of the white race they're not sure about. It comes from too many different areas. They can't figure it all out. The Asian genetic on Earth is the oldest in incarnation cycles. It's five to seven percent older, they say, than the rest of the people here on the planet. From Sirius, we had a black race come approximately 20 some thousand years ago, a very highly developed one, brought that genetic here. We have a blue skin race that lives underground. They don't like sunlight. They have a slight blue tint of their skin. They have a large community under France, and there's a large city still in the Gobi Desert where they live. It's a very old race. It's been on Earth almost for 30,000 years. Every now and then, some of them are seen. They come out of the ground in India. Every now and then, you might even hear strange reports about these peculiar blonde, blue-eyed, blue-skinned people, which really stands out in India. So we. <laughs> We have quite a mixture of people on our planet. Uh, if you ever wondered how we all wound up here, it's quite obvious we all didn't come out of the same monkey, if you want to follow that line of thinking. So we're, we're moving closer and closer, perhaps, to understanding our heritage. And with some of the tool sets and things that we're learning about going inside and finding out more about our past lives, we're beginning to find out more and more that the Pleiadians are probably correct. We come from a variety of different places around our galaxy, and Earth then finds itself in a very unique situation of diverse people all trying to make it on one little planet. They said normally on a planet when you go and they find a new planet to look into, there is one race at about the same level of evolution and one color. That is the norm. But on our planet we've had so much interference, we now have people a very wide range of age, a very wide range of spiritual age on earth which makes it difficult to get along. You have a lot of very old spirits who can't get along with the young and vice versa. Our biggest problem, they say, is overpopulation. Imagine for a moment I handed out to all of you some glasses. Remember those 3D glasses in the 3D movies? Well, imagine that I gave you some that allowed you to see spiritual energy. Suddenly you didn't see physical bodies any longer. You just saw the individual spirit. And you could also see the creational energy that made up everything around us, including the planet. So I'll pass all those glasses out to you here for a second. And as you put them on, suddenly all you will see is these little glowing images of our spiritual energy. And if, let's say, we backed out into space so we could see the planet, we would notice that around the planet Earth, there are several rings. The first ring forms after the planet cools, and the very, very first forms of low single-cell creatures begin to form on the planet, the first ring forms. These rings are the other sides for the different levels of spiritual life that's on the planet. They continue up to seven rings for the different life forms. 
after the animal kingdom, the lower orders, the life, uh, the insects and so forth are formed, the highest order of life, which is us, comes into existence. We are the seventh ring around the planet at the top. And they explain this to Billy because something pretty interesting is going on. Normally, in that other side, there's a balance of people on the other side. If we are in balance and living our lives correctly, there are two-thirds more people on the other side there is in physical body. That's because at our age of evolution, the average turnaround time on the other side is 152 years. And if people are living 70 to 75 years, then they spend twice as much time on the other side in between lifetimes before they cycle back in and come back into physical life. Our problem right now, we have overpopulated the planet so badly that there are too many young spirits on the other side. See, what happens is, let's say there's 5 billion people here on Earth, which there is right now, over that, and tomorrow about 50 million women become pregnant. Open up this window of opportunity for new spirits to come in. Well, with our glasses on, we can clearly look at the other side and see there's hardly any spirits on the other side. There isn't 50 million spirits to come in. They're already in body because of overpopulation. Now watch what's going to happen. As you watch the other side, you will see little dots start appearing, little glimmers. Those are brand new spirits being pulled into the other side. They're coming out of creation. Creation will sense that there are new spirits needed to continue nature's natural cycles. There's nobody on the other side. Creation flows new spirits into the other side, so the cycles may continue. But what's our problem? These are brand new spirits who haven't had any lifetimes yet. And when they come into life, there is no accumulated wisdom to provide their intellect and aptitude so they will have a normal life like the rest of us. So consequently, we have people coming in who cannot even manage the bodies they're in. They're very short on intellect and aptitude because they have no experience yet. So we probably will label them either sick, ill, uh, you know, we'll send them off to the hospital thinking they're insane or crazy, whatever. They'll have a very difficult time of it, probably die at a very young age. They see this as our biggest problem because we do not understand spiritually what our existence is about and how we really work with nature. So we're ignoring that. We seem very bent on pushing ourselves or worshiping with religions and belief structures which take us away from the basics of nature. So they see it as our major problem. And they said, quote, we see you as an insane society rushing headlong to your own destruction that can only be averted by a change in mass consciousness. That was on Billy's first contact in 75. Judging by the evening news in the last year or so, they were probably pretty correct. Uh, I'll dash through some of these pictures so you can see them. Here Billy's got them parking the disc by trees. He was constantly being asked if he could put it by known object, get pictures so they could test them out. So he had them parked by you know, trees, fence posts, over lakes, anything that he could. Here he had the craft overhead and he was recording the sound of the ship so that if, uh, they could check out the sound to see if there was something about it they could figure out. Didn't turn out to be so. It's a terrible sound anyway. Notice this craft is slightly different, has these unusual edges on it. Um, if any of you have any contacts, or tonight you're driving home after listening to all of this fringe information, and you hear a voice in your head, and it says, look out the, your window, and you look out the side of the car, and there's a white...